Imagine having an AI assistant that not only understands your questions, but also has a full context of your project. Your files, notes, links, and more in one single place in one single notebook. But I know what you may be thinking when you're considering this yet to be another way to take notes in Microsoft 365. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, to be honest, it's not actually that bad. And technically, it's built on the same technology as Microsoft Loop 2. So it's not entirely new. But that being said, though, Copilot, well, it can be a generalist. Ask it a question, it searches the web and across all of your files to try and find the right answers. But what if we could instead focus our Copilot on a single place, a single notebook collated with all the right information? Well, that's exactly what Copilot Notebooks deliver. And it does sound a little familiar to Google's Notebook LM, doesn't it? But don't worry, I'll point out some of those differences later. So thinking of Copilot Notebooks, what if we were starting a new project or we took on a new team? What if we could take a single notebook and bring in all the relevant content? That could be your meeting notes, office files, websites, PDFs and even your own notes that you jotted down and using that as a single information source to ask Copilot questions on. Yes, it wouldn't take information from any other source. What if we could then take it a step further? We could even have an audio summary available to us all through our notebook because that's now all possible using Copilot notebooks. And today I'm going to show you how to do all of that ensuring you can make the most of this brand new Copilot feature. So let's head into Copilot and turn the page on our first notebook together. So let's get started and create a new notebook with the help of Copilot. To do that, I've opened up a web browser tab and I've browsed over to m365.cloud.microsoft, taking us into new Copilot experience. On the left hand side, you'll see an option for notebooks. Clicking that option takes you into your new notebook homepage. However, if you don't see the notebook button, that's because it's likely you don't have a Microsoft 365 paid Copilot license. Yes, Copilot notebooks do require a paid license. They're not available for a free Copilot license. Now you're all set and ready to go with creating a new notebook. Let's go ahead and select create Copilot notebook and now give our new notebook a relevant name that you're gonna be working with. With our notebook name now added, we can begin to add content into our notebook and that will come from existing files and content you've worked with in Microsoft 365. You can see here we can now search through the files or browse through your recently used files. Let's go ahead and type in Project Green Space and that will allow us to find any content with that name. Here are some notes and some project specification. I can left click and begin to bring the content straight into my notebook. And yes, these are Microsoft Word files, not specifically Copilot pages. So we're doing this now, we can begin to add our content. But in addition, we also have access to meetings. For example, this financials for Project Green Space were meeting notes taken from a meeting in Microsoft Teams. Left clicking those, I can also add them into my notebook. But what if we can't find it by this experience by searching for the content? Select the OneDrive icon on the right hand side. And you can now browse through OneDrive or your Microsoft Teams to pull out the relevant content. For example, I can open GreenSpace Project and there's a channel called General Conversations and the files I'm in here are all relating to the marketing approach and brief. Let's go ahead and also add these in. So with our content now added, let's go ahead and click on the Create button and our new notebook will now be created adding those reference points in and you'll see them listed within your notebook experience shown here, all these references. But also you'll note that they all have an icon next to the file type. These are actually configured as sharing links, not copied into your notebook as actual files, rather linked in your notebook. They are still existing in the same location where we picked them from originally and linked into your notebook for reference points. If you're watching this, you're probably trying to unlock the full power of Microsoft 365. And let's face it, there's a lot to take in. That's why I've created our 365 ebook collection. It's a growing library of practical, easy to digest guides covering everything from Copilot, Planner and more. The best bit though, it's completely free. And you'll be able to access it 
using the web link shown below. So why not grab your free ebook collection and then level up your Microsoft 365 skills today? Now, let's get back to Copilot Notebooks. And you can also add more content into your notebook. To do that, you click on Add Reference to be taken to the same experience as before. Maybe you worked with more recent files you want to bring into your notebook again. You can also click in the drop down and upload files from your computer or add in web links to other content like websites as well. And is it possible to create your own notes in these notebooks just like you would in other apps like OneNote or Microsoft Loop? Absolutely, it's possible. Head to new page in your Copilot notebook and you'll see this is using the underlying technology that's powered by Microsoft Loop. You can now begin to add your content and use these additional capabilities available inside this Copilot page. I'm now going to add in some content around an event that we've got coming up and we're currently planning for. But this now is stored inside of my Copilot notebook. We can actually return to it by closing out this page. We'll see the community feedback event planning page is now contained within our notebook. So it is possible to create your own content as you move forward inside of your digital notebook rather than just bringing in files across Microsoft 365. But also, there's something different in here. You can now add custom instructions to also ask Copilot to respond in certain ways. And that is in each of your notebooks by selecting the Add Copilot Instructions. And here now you can tell Copilot how to behave and respond when you ask it questions. I'll now go ahead and provide Copilot some awareness on how I expect it to respond. With that now added into Copilot, every time I ask Copilot a question in his notebook, it will use this information to also build out a response. But how does that work then? Well, all we now need to do is from this dialogue here is to ask Copilot a question and it will take information only from your notebook. Yes, other references across the web or Microsoft 365 will not be used to build out your response, making it a very much specific to the notebook you're working with. Let's go ahead and ask a question and get the latest update on Project Green Space, which is going to take from all of our notes. With our prompt added to summarize the latest updates on Project Green Space to share with my management team, giving that to Copilot, it now begins to look through the content that are within my own notes and come back with relevant results. We can see that Copilot's now responding, giving us that project update from all of the content I've supplied inside of the notebook. And that's the biggest difference regarding other Copilot experiences. It's now only tailored to the content I've added in the notebook itself. Other content will not be used to build out my response. And how can I get back to this Copilot conversation later? Well, as it's situated in our notebook, we can select the Project Green Space notes and look back at our notebook. And under the chat section, you'll now see the Copilot conversation we had specific to this notebook. So now conversations you have in your notebook can be easily returned to later straight within the new notebook experience. And finally, it's also now possible to get an audio overview of all of the content you have in your notebook. And within a few minutes, it now creates an audio overview. Let's preview what Copilot has created for us. Hey, welcome everyone to today's overview. Glad you could join us. Hi there, thanks for tuning in. We're really excited to dive in, huh? Absolutely. Today we're exploring a fascinating transformation project that turns underutilized urban land into a vibrant community space, and we'll be unpacking details from a set of documents about this green space urban renewal project. Right. So we've got insights on everything from the project goals and design elements to budgeting, roles, and community feedback all coming together. Yes, exactly. We'll talk about how this project is set to create a lush park area with a community garden, kids play zones, and even outdoor fitness areas, making it a beacon of sustainability. And we'll touch on who's involved, from project managers to environmental consultants and even the financial intricacies behind it. Let's start with the project overview, the core vision for transforming a five-acre wasteland into a lively community hub. So a pretty impressive podcast-style summary of my own notebook. And even those personalities talking are generated by Copilot and AI, which is a little strange. But does that mean that Copilot notebooks are now going to replace OneNote and Microsoft Loop? Well, I don't think so. I see this as another option you can consider but I personally will continue to use Loop as well as Copilot Notebooks. Copilot Notebooks give us a great way to use information with Copilot that's specific to a project or other element. But Loop and Meter Notes capability are also really powerful 
and I'll continue to use those too. But also do consider that Copilot notebooks do require a Microsoft 365 paid license. If you don't have one of those, well, you will be limited to using Loop and also OneNote in the way that you do today. And what about Google's Notebook LM? Well, if you look at it in comparison, Copilot notebooks don't offer mind maps. You can't share your notebook with others as yet. And also, Copilot notebooks are limited in information it can summarize you've shared of it. So there's definite room for improvement as Copilot notebooks are pretty much so new. And therefore, I hope to see the gap short in the future with future updates in Copilot notebooks. So have you tried out these yet? Well, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it's working for you or how you'll use it in the future. And if you found this tutorial helpful, why not give it a thumbs up and a like. Not forgetting to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated with our latest Microsoft 365 tutorials. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.